Uh, where's it coming from? It's this. It's pretty corroded, isn't it? Here we go then, folks. Package from the UK. I'm gonna open it up. I hope it's not a bomb. Some slight breakage. But nothing to get too upset about. Something snapped off there, what's that off? It's a piece there that's come off somewhat. As long as the speedometer works, that's why we got it. So this is the speed sensor and the speedometer gets its information from here. The wires were shorting out, they were touching each other. Repaired the wires temporarily just so that they're not touching each other and they're not shorting out I've wrapped them around with electrical tape plugged everything back in still didn't work so I've done this trick where you can connect two wires into the plug and then you turn the ignition on I tried it with the ignition and with the engine on just to make sure and you tap the wires together it has to be something like 15 times a second or something like that to even get any kind of nut reaction on the dash but yeah, you tap these together really quickly, these two wires, as fast as you can. And then, yeah, you either set up the phone as I did, or you get someone to sit in the front, and you, or you take really long wires with you into the front, which is what they tell you to do online, which is a bit nuts. So I've got to say a huge thank you to Matty, who sent this over to me. He did me a good deal on it. These things are getting quite expensive now, so yeah, he did really give me a really fair price, so I'm really happy. There's no turbo gauge. It's off an NA car. But really, I just need to swap over the speedometer unit. And that's all we need, isn't it? And the rest of the stuff. I'd like to see if the other stuff is working. Fuel gauge, uh, a tachometer, temperature gauge, and that sort of thing. So we know, you know, if we've got like good components or not. And just see if the lights come on the dash as well to see if we've got a good circuit board. And yeah, just test it out. So what, what I'll do is I'll have a little play with it, get some screws back in, plug it into the car, see if things work. And then I'll take it off again and I'll just swap over the, the speedometer unit itself. And then we'll just run with our original cluster, I think. Yeah, probably the usual story of the post people being rough as hell with this stuff. Throwing it around, you know. Yeah, I didn't put the bezel back in because of how hard it was to remove it. Hopefully you can see something. Not for you guys, but so I've got it on recording where everything went, in case I get it wrong, which I probably will. And this black stuff is everywhere. Where's it coming from? It's this melted electrical tape. That's just perfect. Oh, man. What a job. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, the speedometer works. Oh, you beauty. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, nice one. There's things that don't work, but I'm not too worried. We've got a spare temp gauge. I might just talk when the road isn't, when we're off the World War II leftover road. So we don't have an odometer. It's taken a smack, hasn't it? So that's probably got something to do with that. Um, but we'll see if we can get that sorted. I'm not too worried. Like I said, I don't think they really fail, do they, the odometers? I've not heard of one failing. Yeah. I've not heard of a of this of this pedometer of the odometer being an issue. I don't know if I just said speedometer or not. The fuel gauge isn't working, they can be an issue, can't they? This one is, the light's on, but nobody's home. Look at this. Horrible stuff. This is a joke. So here we go, from the UK. 
to Germany. Actually, what I might do is just compare the two side by side. Obviously, this one is fine. I might just see. I'm going to use my phone so we can get the old macro mode going and you can see close up what's happening. Because I'm sure this is the problem with all of these things. This, this happens of... A couple of people mentioned in the comments they had the same issue and I think this is the big problem, this is the common fault, so we'll have a proper look at it. So this is the old one. See, we've got these four little screws here. So I've already taken the needle off. You can probably see it in there. Yeah, literally with a screwdriver, flathead, opposite sides, and then just pop it off. So... We need to be really careful because, as me not being careful, this is all really delicate, of course, so really fine wires and things like that. So it's pretty corroded, isn't it? These leak, and I think the other one is worse. I think there's been more leakage back here, and then over in this part, there's a gap there. That's not actually attached anymore. So that capacitor isn't connected. So I actually decided, because this new one does have a bit of corrosion on those pins as well. I'm probably gonna break this. Even though it was working, I probably should have just left it alone. So the turbo gauge isn't going to work because I haven't hooked that up yet. It's easier to do it from behind underneath when you've actually got the cluster all the way in because the hose isn't actually long enough. Let's see. I've actually fixed something and not made it worse. It feels like it's reading too quickly, if anything. Like it reckons I'm doing 50 and I don't know if I am doing 50, but yeah, it was like that before anyway. It felt like it wasn't anything to do with... Ah, oh, look. It's sat in the wrong place. I've obviously set up the needle wrong. No, it's jumping. So guys, here we go. Hopefully we can finish it now and get this sorted. So I spoke to Matty, the guy that actually bought this cluster off. And he said the needle slipped he said it's happened to him before what he's done to solve it quite simply is plug it all in let it go up to 12 miles per hour leave it there leave it on pull the needle off reset it and that should solve the issue Phone says 40 kilometers. This says 50. It's too far off, isn't it? So I've gone up against the stop, lifted it up over, and then put it just over the stop. But I've actually turned the spring that way over the stop. So now there's a better spring down to zero, quite a lot of a spring down to zero. I'm going to try that. I'm going to play around with it and see again compared to my phone what it reads up. I think it's about five off now. I think it's about five. It says 50 here, 45 there. That's where I want it. That's good enough. Because I don't want to be speeding. I don't want to read too low. I'd rather read a bit too high. The main reason why I wanted to do this is to show you 
the issues with them, show you that corrosion, show you those leaking capacitors. They're just always problematic, aren't they? But especially these, Yakazi Yakuza, Kawasaki, meters, whatever they're called, especially these are really bad and by this point they're pretty much all stopped working and i know a lot of you have already got issues so at least you can actually see without taking things apart so yeah that's why i wanted to do the video i'm not sure what i'm going to do about this i'll let you know in a future video um there's a lot going on with this car at the moment as well which you have already either seen or you will see in the next video